Hello students, welcome to the class. Today we are going to look into the pronunciation component of unit 4 and 5 in the semester 4 syllabus and the topic is assimilation of sounds and elision of sounds. Okay, look at these examples here. Nice to meet you. If you say generally, at a leisurely pace, we find that it is something like nice to meet you. But try to say it at a faster pace. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It actually changes a sound here. And we observe that nice to meet you actually becomes ni nice to meet you. So the combination of the sound st and y is yielding us a new sound ch. Similarly, in the phrase handbag, where we find that the sound n is combining with the sound b, and what we get is when we say it at a faster pace, we observe that it is melting into a new sound m. So handbag becomes handbag and similarly the word treasure we observe here that uh, there is a sound z and uh, this sound z is accompanied by the sound j and when we actually say it it comes out as j the other sound j so treasure it's not treasure but it's treasure now this particular property of two sounds getting combined or melting into a new sound is called as assimilation of sounds. Now how do you say this? Interesting. Now do you really say it as interesting, a four syllabic, syllabic word or are you saying it as interesting, a three syllabic word? Now this property where uh, a vowel sound is totally omitted from a word is called as elision. So we are going to look at these two concepts in this video, assimilation of sounds and elision of sounds. First, we'll look into assimilation. Now, assimilation of sounds is a phonological process. It's related to phonetics, the sound system, that happens when two sounds come together and change or melt into a new sound. Assimilations can happen when the final sound of a word touches the first sound of the next word. And assimilations may happen inside a word, just like we observe in the word treasure, or they can happen between two words like meacher. In natural speech, uh, when you observe a native speaker uh, speaking, they tend to make the adjacent sounds more like each other. So assimilation occurs when new sounds in utterances are created by, say, a sound influenced by the previous sound, or a sound influenced by the next sound, or a sound, a set of two sounds influencing each other. Either way, we find assimilations happening. Now, assimilations in English usually occur in the sounds, the consonant sounds t, d, and h, when followed by a syllable or another consonant sound like k, g, m, n, or y. Now, in the past, past tense in English uh, provides many assimilations of the sounds t and d. So, we'll look into some categories or examples of assimilation now. Now, we'll look into one category where the sounds st, d, s, and z are assimilating with the sound y. Now, the first thing is, when the sound t is joined or combined with the sound y, we get a new sound like ch. That's what we observed in the previous example, meet ch. So, where here, the sound t is uh, influenced by the next sound y and meet you becomes meacher and similarly observe the word picture 
Here again we find that inside the word picture we have two sounds t and y adjacently placed and suddenly it's not picture but it's picture where t and y combined to give us a new sound ch picture. Similarly when the sound d uh, comes face to face with the sound y together we find that we get a new sound j. For example, would you like some tea? Would you like some tea? Now here we have uh, two words would and you uh, where the last sound of would is d and the first sound of you is y and they combine to give us a new sound j. Would you? Would you like some tea? Now we also observe the same thing in the in case of the word soldier where inside the word we find the sound d and y placed together and it's not soldier but it's soldier. Right. Now here we find another case where the sound sir coming in, in uh, accompanied by the sound y and suddenly we find that it also assimilates to give a new sound sh. So observe the word special where the sound sir is placed adjacently to the sound y and it is not special anymore, it's special. So they both combine to give us new sound sh, special. Similarly, in the phrase, it's just you, where the sound in the sound t in the in the word just is silent. So it's just you and just you, sir, and you assimilate and we get sure. So it's it's not it's just you. It's it's just you. So it's not just you, but just you. And finally, there is this case of z combining with the sound y in the word treasure where we get a, the a new consonant sound j treasure it's not treasure but it's treasure now we'll also look at uh, the other categories of assimilations that we generally find now as a general case uh, the sounds st d and n whenever they come come um, along with the sounds m b and p they make they assimilate and they give out different sounds. So let's look start with the sound t. What happens when the sound t assimilates with any other sound like m, b, and p? For that sound t changes to p before m, b, or p. For example, basket maker is actually sounding like basket maker, where t in combination with m changes to p. Private property is actually sounding like private property. Front bench sounds like front bench. The t sound in these three cases is assimilated and it's coming out as p. Similarly, if you observe, the sound d also assimilates uh, uh, whenever it is used in combination with the sounds m, b, and p. It changes to b. So, good morning actually sounds like good morning. D changing to B. Blood pressure actually sounds like blood pressure. The D is coming out like B assimilates. And bad boy actually comes out as bad boy. D changing to B. Right. Another case is where uh, the sound N changing to the sound m whenever it comes before m, b, or p. Similarly, so brown paper actually sounds like brown paper. Iron man sounds like iron man. Cotton belt, it comes out as cotton belt. So the sound n is actually assimilating with m, b, p and it's coming out as the sound m. So, and finally, we look at uh, these uh, two cases where the sound t and d change to k or g whenever they are followed by the sounds k or g. So, credit card actually sounds like credit card. T coming together with k changes to k. Smart card actually comes out as smart card. Hardcore is actually sounding like hardcore and bad. Girl sounds like bag girl, bagel.
right now let's come to the second category of uh, our observation of, of sounds that is elision now looking at the previous example interesting uh, is actually sounds like interesting a four letter now we write interesting but we say interesting now this is a sound change uh, in which a sound is totally omitted this is called elision now elision is a speech simplification pattern and it can occur either in single words or in connection between two words for example in christmas we actually write christmas but when we say it the sound ter is totally omitted and we only have christmas so this a deletion of a sound from a total word is called as elision and even it can happen between two words like must be we always write must and be but when they are put together it sounds like must be and the sound ter is deleted and common consonants in english where the elision happens is ter and the so here are some more examples of words where we find the property of elision several is actually written as several but it's said as several different different is actually written as different but it's said as different vegetable is actually written as vegetable four syllables but it's said as vegetable separate is written as separate but it's said separate so history botany interesting family and chocolate all these words uh, have this thing where a vowel sound is deleted and they become a less syllable word so here we come to the end of this class uh, if you have any queries or questions to ask you can approach us on the blog spot or you can mail to the department id or you can whatsapp us to the number given keep watching the videos uh, and learn the new things thank you good day